subject to the letter of R on the application of E.M. Eritrea, the Secretary of State for Home Department. Lord Kerr will explain the reasons for the judgment of the court. If <clears throat> someone comes to this country and claims asylum, and it is then discovered that they have earlier claimed to have been granted asylum in another country which is a member of the European Union, they will normally be returned to that country. That is the effect of a European directive which is commonly called Dublin II. But such a person can resist his or her return to the country in which they had earlier claimed asylum if they can show uh, that there is a risk that if returned there, they will be subject to inhuman or degrading treatment. Such treatment is forbidden by Article 3 of the European Convention on Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms. The principal issue in this appeal was whether a person who wishes to resist his or her return to a country in which they had claimed asylum originally must show that the claimed risk of a breach of Article 3 arises from a systemic deficiency in that country's arrangements for those who are asylum seekers or refugees there. Uh, the Court of Appeal decided that this was indeed necessary. Uh, the reason that it reached that decision was based on its understanding of a judgment of the Court of Justice of the European Union in a case called NS Afghanistan against the United Kingdom. Uh, the Court of Appeal said that, but for the decision in that case, all four appellants would have been able to show, at least ostensibly, uh, that they were at risk of ill treatment, contrary to Article 3, if they were returned to Italy the country where they had first claimed asylum. Before this court, uh, the appellants argued that the Court of Appeal was wrong in its interpretation of the judgment in the NS case. And we have decided that the appellant's argument on this point uh, must be accepted. Although in the NS case, there were indeed systemic deficiencies in the arrangements for asylum seekers and refugees in Greece, uh, the country to which it was proposed to return the claimants in that case, the European Court uh, had not held that the claimants could only put forward a claim that they were at risk of ill-treatment if they showed that such systemic deficiencies were in fact in place. We have therefore decided that the cases must be returned to the Administrative Court so that they can examine the evidence to determine whether in each case it is established that there is a real possibility that if returned to Italy, the claimant would be subject to treatment in violation of the Convention. Court is now adjourned.